Family. It's what builds us up and in some cases breaks us down. To me, it's the most important thing in my life. But as I've gotten older, I realize that sometimes I've not dedicated enough time to specific family members. Enter stepmom, quite possibly the most influential female figure in my life. She's always been by my side. When others told me I couldn't, she showed me how I could. Mom always empowered me to do what I want and was supportive even when the going got tough, like the time we decided to watch an episode of Top Gear America. She's an incredible woman, but one who I think is misunderstood. You see, ever since I started making videos and posting them, the most popular question I've received year after year is, what is your real job? Even though it's been well documented that I'm a chicken farmer, the internet is smart enough to know that there's not enough money in chicken farming to buy a junk Ferrari and a couple salvage Audis. Now I thought introducing my stepmom, the one who is financially responsible for enabling my car projects, would help bring closure to the topic. But instead it launched a whole new series of questions and criticisms. And it's grown outside of YouTube. Here's a Reddit post discussing the matter, with all sorts of discussion on how I know my stepmom and why she's in my videos. This is like asking why the sky is blue and if the Pope is Catholic. The answer are obvious. Let me ask you, how did you meet your mother? My favorite chain of comments is the one here where someone says that I must just be cutting up clips of her videos and then splicing myself in. Then this guy responds, he's not that good at video editing. Well, this guy is totally correct. If you don't mind my lackluster editing skill, but appreciate my above average networking skill, be sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know your real thoughts about the situation in the comment section. Either way, none of this really matters, but just to clarify things one last time in the most transparent way possible, I identify her as my stepmom, so clearly that makes it 100% true, and in just a moment I'll be traveling with my stepmom to the salvage auction where I heard there's a total Lamborghini Urus and a cheap project Ferrari 458 for us to check out, and you'll just see how amazing of a companion my mom really is as she's quick to notice fine details on these cars that can make or break a deal. But before I go visit her, I have to quickly take care of my agitated rooster. Recently my neighbor told me about the roo that was going to get turned into chicken soup if he hadn't found a new home. So I took him in and it turns out he's really aggressive. Anytime I walk out in the field to work on a car, he follows quietly and attacks when my back is turned. Come here, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ah, he got me, he just got me really good there. Ah, that really hurt. He's literally tore up both my ankles and I can't possibly leave town without grooming my rooster first. And the only way this will be possible without getting any more nicks or cuts with Manscaped's Lawnmower 3.0. With built in skin safe technology, it cuts close but smooth, assuring no snags, nicks, or cuts. <laughs> In addition to the lawnmower, Manscaped's performance pack. Are right, we gotta give that another go? In addition to the lawnmower, Manscaped's performance package includes the Weed Whacker, which cleans up the stubble in those harder to reach areas. And when you order one of these packages for your package, you'll be treated to their legendary ball toner and deodorant, so you can freshen up your Sour Patch after you Manscaped. So head on over to manscaped.com or just click my link in the. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we gotta do this ad read quick. The rooster's right there. You're gonna wanna check out the performance package at manscaped.com or just click the link in the description box. And remember, when you're checking out, use code SAMCRACK. That's gonna save you 20% off your very own performance package. And if you order right now, they're gonna throw in two free gifts. Now I wanna give a huge thanks to Manscaped for grooming my unruly rooster and for sponsoring this video. This is a good look for you. But we only seen this side. So what's wrong with it? We see the, uh, the smash glass, yeah. Smash glass. So just like we gotta go around and see, but here, let's see if this opens. There you go. See the side doors. Go ahead, get in. Nice interior, right? Yeah. Does stepmom look good in this? <laughs> I think this is you. I like red interiors. And it's an easy fix for me because you know I don't really like finish any of the really like difficult projects. So you wouldn't have to fix the interior, that's for sure. No, look, there is one missing button right here. I don't know why uh, so when I see weird stuff like this, I ask a lot of questions. That's Let's, a dial though. Yeah, but but it's missing. This is a button, Sam. Yeah, yeah, but it should look like that. It should look like that. No, it should look different. It should be more like I don't this is <laughs> Look, here, how about this? We're gonna look it up and see. Well, here, let's see. I'm gonna get in the other side. So this is an insurance car. Okay, stolen. Ah, they, they stole the dial. They stole, that's right. <laughs> All right, yeah, not much to talk about on this one. Oh, the, look, the umbrellas are missing too. They stole the umbrellas as well. Mom, look at the wood. What do you think about the wood? I didn't even notice the wood. Looks good though, right? I can't believe I missed the wood. It's okay. I've seen better wood, but it's a deal breaker. No umbrellas and we're missing a dial. 
Although the dial could be somewhere in the car. <laughs> You're convinced this dial is somewhere in the car. If it were be anywhere, I think it'd be in the cup holder or in the center console. I looked in both of those, didn't see it. There's my truck. Oh, there you go. What is this, Super Duty? It's gotta be a Power Stroke though. I don't see the Power Stroke badge on the side. Now we're not gonna walk past this Toyota. Every single time I do a video and there's a vintage car in the background and I walk right by it, people get very disappointed. So we'll go check that out in a second. But let's see what we got. Oh, we got a Power Stroke. Here we go, 250. And this is all done up, I guess, aftermarket. But what, what does the other side look like is the question. Is it good or is it? This is like too nice. I need something to work on here, you know? Sam, but, I'm trying to find something that you don't have to work too hard so you can actually finish it. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> well, then this is a good one. Let's get it. Let's see. It's a new interior. It's definitely a worker's truck. Well, this one, this is oh, pretty clean. Keys. Yeah, go ahead. See if it powers up. So I thought the Rolls Royce was you, but now I see sitting in this truck. Battery's dead, watch. Yeah. What do you think? This is something you like? Yeah, it's lifted, everything. It's a little too old for me. Okay. I want something a little newer. I mean, mom has her tech that she has to deal with on a daily basis. So. Yeah, well, we can upgrade that too. What do you want? Just name it, and I'll have someone else do it Is for me. the work that, you, that you're gonna have to do on this thing, along with replace the battery. The, be able to handle the that. batteries I could do, no problem. I'll get a good deal on them too. All right, so this is what we're looking for then. This is it, Power Stroke F250. What everybody's gonna tell us, remind us in the comments, this, this is not the engine you want. You want the generation after it. But see, I like a challenge. So I wanna buy this one and I wanna make sure it's super reliable so it never breaks down on you. But if it does, you know, there's only one guy that's going to come fix it, right? And that's the neighbor down the street that's a mechanic. Uncle Rich. Yeah, Uncle Rich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to look at the Land Cruiser because this is cool too. I don't know anything about this, but if it's a Toyota, it's probably still running. Maybe it will start up. I don't know. Original? I don't, probably not. I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't know. It was probably made out of metal. Original. That, Original. that looks like something that came from the Home Depot, actually. If you look at it, if you yeah. feel it, yeah. See, good eye. I like your eye here at the auction. We're gonna pick out something really good. Wow, look at that. The interior looks, uh... That looks restored. Yeah. It's definitely been painted. Definitely, yeah. I like the detail of the stitching here. All right, let's see. Dead. Dead. They took all the uh, batteries out of You know, I don't know. the. The F-250 was more you, but this could be for me. I actually really like these uh, Audi drivetrain and uh, You're getting I don't... into the old man cars? Right? Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks. Look at all oh, that. It's got that nice interior. You think that's an old man interior right there? Again, this might be too easy, but it looks it looks good from this side. But look at what we could see from the back. Look at the trunk is like kind of hanging open. Well, the airbag is definitely gone and it's sitting low. So either the other side is completely missing or it's got undercarriage damage is my guess. So the trunk is completely out of alignment it's there. Fine. The side's intact. So usually this is, again, just my guess. It's something, it ran over something very hard and it destroyed, you know, a lot of the underside, popped some air shocks Ooh, and- Hit a windshield. Supposedly these are the worst engines to work on ever. So don't buy that. Let's not buy this one. Let's look for an eight cylinder because you know I can't fix that. Oh, come on. This is it. This is the one I'm going to beg you for. Okay. Oh, this is, this is no problem. I know about four or five people that can really help me get this one done. Yeah, yeah come on. This are literally on the floor here. Yeah, th that part, you've got to make sure when we buy it that they give it to us because that thing is probably like four or five hundred bucks. So you take a picture of it now. Yeah, well, we got it on video, perfect. Definitely gonna get this one, definitely. So, come over here, you think, I mean, maybe you could even help me fix this. Look, look how easy it is. So it needs a whole front end? It looks pretty uh, interesting. It needs a lot of suspension, and it, it def- It's set up for hover boarding right now. You just put a hover system in the front, and hey, it up off the ground. an aquatic Ferrari, right? That could be an interesting idea. 
And so these are aluminum frames. So the problem with aluminum, you can't bend it like steel, like on that other car we saw earlier, that, that uh, Nissan. So you gotta cut all that off when it's that bad. If it's moved over by a millimeter or two, you can sometimes get it. But when it's that bad, it is, it's bad. But it still looks nice. I mean, I, again, we could we could get this. Let's see what you look like in the uh, driver's seat if it if it opens up even. Oh, the, the wheels are there. Uh, I love it when they do that. Oh, it's all bound in here on the well, quarter panel too. Look at the interior. The, uh, red interior. It's perfect. It's perfect. Headlight. That's uh, yeah. That's part of a headlight, definitely. Oh, you could you could stretch out this. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I'll just get another set. It's fine. We'll get, yeah. It's only gonna be, mom, like four or five thousand dollars more. I'll just get a whole other set, okay? Oh, you know what's even more expensive than the rim is that brake rotor and caliper in there. Look at this. That's a carbon ceramic brake rotor. That rotor is probably used a few thousand dollars. So if it's reusable, we definitely gotta, you know, just keep this video for documentation that when we buy it, it's in there, you know? You're not buying this car, Sam. Well, you're... I'm not giving you any money to buy this. This car. is the one. Please, come on. So four to five thousand for wheels. Just for the wheels, yeah. You need a new frame because you can't bend it back. That's right. Correct. Yeah. Um, you need an entire front drive shaft. Pretty sure. There's no drive shaft because no. the rear, but it's okay. Oh, rear. Well, if you want to give me the well, money for a drive shaft, I'll get it, you know? I hate to break the news of your windshield on this car. It's probably another four or five thousand. Um, I'm looking at the battery. That's no big deal. That's good. That's a good interstate. Airbags, yeah. Steering wheel. Mm hmm. Side airbags didn't. So we need a whole new dashboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Steering wheel airbag. Let's see. See these airbags also deployed here in the door? So we need all new door trims. On that side, see that one's good though. So that'll save you probably another thousand dollars there. Off eBay, no problem, right? the door this one, yeah, they'll have a whole entire like door. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, this is easy. I'm just I'm using your money wisely. Oh, is that what you're doing? He's saving you money. This is where it's going to cost a little bit more. The quarter panel's all bound in, and it's a spider. Ooh. Well, you're not going to be able to use the frame, so. Well, just the front frame. That's a whole nother part of the frame that we got to work on. Going on the watch list at the very least. Can we at least put it on the watch list? Do you even know if there's an engine in this car? There's definitely an engine. You could see like some parts right there. Underneath there. They're there. That's not the problem with this car. This car's engine is, yeah, I could guarantee you that. Okay. The engine is good. Just everything else. Everything else. Everything. Yeah. You better convince me or find something to buy me here. Okay. Deal. For me to let you have some money. For Done. Sure. We'll get you another car with a horse on it and right next to it, right here, we've got this beautiful, I think this is a four cylinder, this is a Mustang. Four cylinder? Yeah, uh, mom, it's a four cylinder, but it gets good gas mileage and I know you... It's an automatic? Uh, well, but it gets even better gas mileage being that it's an automatic. No? You want to look for a V8? Yes. Okay, we'll go look for a V8. I in South Florida. I need something to get through the South Florida traffic. Let me talk to you about this one for a second. You're not going to want to hear anything to do with a Cadillac, right? No. No. Okay. But this is a pretty rare car and they sell very cheap. This is an STSV. See, it says supercharged down the side. And it's a Cadillac, so the parts are kind of pricey on it, but not Ferrari pricey. This could be a good project. If you know if it goes cheap and you know, I can't handle myself. Mm -hmm. I like just buying everything that goes cheap. So go ahead. Take a look. Oh It's got the red interior like you like too. Look at that Yeah, it's like this one was meant to be this is a Why do you want A Cadillac Well, I mean again if it goes cheap I want it, you know, like let's see the back seat. I mean come on. It's a Cadillac. So it's got it's got a gigantic stain on the nice back seat. Yeah. windows, I can say that. Ooh, I don't even know if I want to zoom in on what's going on in there. <laughs> it's kind of a... Uh, yeah. Maybe not on this one, Mom. I mean, the interior color, it'd be right if it didn't have the uh, whatever that is that I'm not going to show in the uh, seat. But otherwise, mm -hmm. this is a great project. Great project. Yeah. I have enough of those though, right? I don't think I'm quite old enough to uh, drive one of these. That's not very nice because I had one of these. You flocked over here like this was like the next best thing in the lot, you know? Yes, it was. <laughs> well, you want an old man car, right? 
Hey, no, I don't want an old man car, but you know what makes it a little bit more youthful is this fake carbon hood scoop that came from like AutoZone. Yeah, hey, it does have a sunroof. Ain't only 67,000 miles. It does. There's a few. Fake sunroof. No. It doesn't look like it's glass. No, there. <laughs> look, it looks like it's it's got it's like fused. caulk around here. Yeah. It's fused on there because it was leaking. Hold on. No way. We got to get in and see this. Tanya, mom, for your first time at the auction, you're natural. You notice all the stuff that I don't even see. Yeah, this is. So what is this? Like a target top, mm -hmm. right? But there's there's like uh, Home Depot caulk all around, all around it oh. because it was probably leaking. You want to see if it cranks over? Go ahead. There you go. So here, do this while you're turning the... All right, turn it the other way. See if it's that. It's not that, it's not turning. Okay. Um, well, I think that this is a mystery that can remain a mystery. I don't really, yeah. I want the Ferrari. No, no, not this one, not this one. It has a blow punk. <laughs> it doesn't have a blow punk? It has blow punk speakers. No, it's got a pile. Pile? It's got it has blau punk speakers. Blau punk speakers. It does. What is this for? That's for cassette tapes. Is that what it was? Yeah. I'm, I like how you didn't know that, but I knew that. And you're accusing me of liking old man. You don't remember the cassette tape? I do remember the cassette tape. <laughs> I've never seen a cassette tape holder in a car. No, that is, that's really like next level right there. Man, space for six cassettes. That's pretty sweet. I do want this car now. This part alone would be worth buying a car. If you're talking old man cars, I've got the perfect old man car right here. This is the epitome of old man cars. Old man sports cars. Old man right sports here, cars. right Lexus. here. The Lexus SC430. This is quite possibly one of the most boring but reliable sports cars. It's not even really a sports car, but they, they kind of try to pawn it off as a sports car. This has 230 something thousand miles. Look at the seat. Is there a single tear in the seat? No. No, there's not. Just one single tear. <laughs> Is there? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say for 230,000 miles, it, it holds up pretty well. Been fixed. Oh, good. I don't have to do any more work. Yeah. And it's a Lexus, so it's gonna run forever. We don't even need to test if this one starts up. We know it starts up. It's a Lexus. Oh, look, it's a Tesla. I wonder if Rich would put a V8 in it. He probably could, Mom, but I don't think it would ever get finished. Ever. See if it's open. I, the, these cars sometimes electronic, sometimes not. Nope, yep, electronic. Look what's right behind it. We're getting that, right? We're getting that. Oh, that one? <laughs> yeah. That one? That's the one. You need to do a lot more begging. Okay, no problem. I'll do as much begging as it takes to get that. Yeah, look at this car. Look at the lines of the car. Well, they're beautiful lines. You could tell it was designed by like uh, Pininfarina, right? Because it says it on the side. That's how I know. Like you're saying like the, the augmented lines from the accident. Yeah. It's okay, I've done this a time or two, and I've succeeded out of like 20 times, but it's okay, we're gonna get it done. I don't think you can finish this project, Sam, at all. There you go, Mom, right here. It's already blacked out. It's already blacked out, and they removed the Boxster logo, so you could tell people you're driving a 911, but they'll never know. It's got a problem. You see the problem? It's got an automatic. Yes. No good for you, right? And the airbags deployed. That's no big deal. Seriously, a steering wheel airbag is no big deal. That could be fixed for probably, I don't know, three, four hundred dollars. You just get the airbag. Uh, that's gonna cost a little bit more than three or four hundred dollars, but that's something I can finish, I guarantee you. This is pushed in a little bit right here. So like, I'll give you like an 80% guarantee on that. They you'll actually finish it? Yes. I was at 90%, I could get this done. This is no problem. <laughs> I did a 911 like this one time. And I finished it. It's one of the few. Okay. You remember that one? This instead of the other one. Yeah, no problem. And look, there's a horse on it again. So good. We, we got a compromise here. Uh -huh. And this one, the horse isn't on the ground. It's not. It's right there. And it's going to come with the car. And maybe we'll take this awful wrap off. That's okay, too. Just don't look at that part of the interior, okay? And it's <laughs> like someone took it apart a little bit, but no big deal. Listen, anything that gets me that Ferrari over there, you can you can have it, because you're buying it anyway, right? This horse, instead of the 
for her. Are you talking for me? Yeah. No, no, I'm talking about for you. I don't want this car. You want this car. I don't want this car. This is a this is a bargain though. Only 97,719 miles. You know, the other thing they could write on the windshield is like cold AC and it would just and make it even better. Boxer. Bo well, don't it's they removed it off the back. Nobody needs to know. But it's still on the floorboard. Okay, well, how about if I get the Ferrari, I'll get a custom plate made that says 911 on it. Then why don't you just give me a 911? All right, let's go look for a 911. Look, here's another 250 for you. Yeah. yeah. Got a little bit of wear on it, but you know. And look, it's a power stroke. This is an older model. Yeah, it is a little older, but come on, let's get in. Let's see. Yeah, maybe a different one, Mom. Maybe a different one. Yeah. I don't know. You could save this interior, right? Uh, I would get a, a new interior for you, yes. It's a, it is a lariat. You like the smell that it comes with? It smells like dog. What is that? Somebody tell us, what is this? Agility? Yeah, I... 99. It's a turbo timer. It could be, is it? No, it looks like a radar detector. It looks like a radar detector, but Why what's the, there, there's the numbers on it. Agility, what the heck is that? All right, not this one. We're gonna get a nicer one than this. You better get me a nicer one. Definitely, as long as I get the Ferrari. Didn't you used to drive one of these? Yeah, yeah, you remember that one that I had, the black one? Uh, what were you thinking? See that car with the exhaust on the roof over there? That Audi? Uh -huh. We gotta look at that really quick and see if it's an RS. What do you think? That's like, again, it's good color for you. Red? I want a red interior, not a red exterior. Well, sometimes you get both, you know? And the exhaust comes on top. Oh. So why is it not underneath the car? Well, I'm guessing you're gonna find out if you go around the back, but uh, I don't know, there's... <laughs> RS, yeah, though. it is an RS5. Now these are really nice. This might be your style, although I don't love how the exhaust is like part of the roof and we can't get inside. The big question is, is it a manual? Because if it's a manual, then it's something you might want. Nope, automatic. All right, this could be yours, but it's something that I could borrow whenever right. you're not using it. You want to borrow it? Yeah, look, I mean, well, after we, we get this fixed, yeah. You're gonna fix this. Well, don't we have enough money to take it like to a body shop or something? I think it needs a little bit more than just a body shop. Uh, I don't know. That engine is like straight out of an old Audi. It's no big deal, really. I think it just needs like, like a piece panel bonded in right here in the corner. And then we could hang a fender real nice. Oh, the windshield though. Ugh. And look. That's good. Kind of. This is the extension of the frame rail. So you just unbolt that and bolt a new one on. This probably moved over a little bit. It doesn't look straight unless it's supposed to bow out like that. Sometimes they do. The big issue is obviously the apron. It's basically missing and uh, it's all crunched in. Obviously a bunch of electrical goes along with that. Look, somebody actually went and jumped this cable right here after it was destroyed. Uh, Mom, let's look at the interior, but maybe we get something a little bit easier to fix. Has that new leather smell to it. It does, and it's a nice car for uh, road trips, decent back seat. This is something you let me borrow, right? No? No, you're not borrowing this. What I want to know is when the heck is this hole in the middle of the floor? I've never seen anything like that. There's just a hole right here in the middle of the floor where obviously this cover goes. That's where you uh, fill up the, uh, the headlight fluids. The blinker fluids. Yes. Well, the interior is perfect color, Mom. Uh, I know you said you wanted an AMG, but maybe after seeing this, you reconsider and get a Urus. I Euros. would, and uh, if you get this, I might consider the Ferrari. Really? Mm -hmm. But you're buying both? If you can fix this. Well, I could do the interior. Well, obviously, Sam. The interior is pretty much done. Well, no, look at this, look. Airbag, airbag. Mom, there's a lot of work in this interior. I could probably get this interior done in like three months. Three months? Three months. Three months. Yeah. You you really just have to replace the steering wheel and... No, no, look, you got to take the whole entire headliner down. We got to pull the curtain bags because both of them blew. And then sometimes in the rear of these cars, look, look, pull that seatbelt. Oh, it works. It works. Look, does this one work? I'm surprised. 
usually there's like tensioners in there that lock up. So I don't know what I'm talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. But usually <laughs> when the airbags blow, these are all locked up, which is really strange. All right, we'll put this one on the back burner. I think that the uh, damage is a bit much. Yeah. You want that Ferrari, don't you? I do want the Ferrari. Mm -hmm. So this is what you want now? Yes. Okay. It's here, isn't it? You said you would find me a car. About three quarters of it's here. Yeah. Out of everything we saw here today, the Lamborghini, the Ferrari, especially that Rolls Royce, you want a power stroke? Yes, Sam. I've been asking you for a truck. It's just, it's just a boring Ford. This modern mansion needs a truck. Okay, so this is what I'll do for you, Mom. Since you've made me happy a million times with all the projects you bought me, I'm going to buy you a power stroke. But you guys have to get this modern mansion up to 100,000 subscribers. All you have to do is click the link in the description box below. When you do, well, I owe you a power stroke for it. Yes, you do, Sam. Well, I'm gonna get it for especially because I want that Ferrari. He's not getting the Ferrari. At least not with my money. That sounded. Interesting. Middle I think he just destroyed your power stroke. <laughs>